Howdy everyone, this is Trisha and welcome to my channel. This year I will be doing a farmhouse themed Christmas. All the supplies that I will be using will serve as a basis to show you how I put items together for my projects. I hope that they will serve as an inspiration to give you ideas on how you can put things together for your holiday decorating. And I hope that you will enjoy this whole series. And as always, to all of you, Merry Christmas. <laughs> subscribers so I want to thank all of you all from the bottom of my heart you have overwhelmed me once again thank you so very much to all of you who have subscribed if you haven't already please do so hit the subscribe button down below and hit that little notification bell so you can be notified when I upload which is every Tuesday and Friday so I am doing my farmhouse theme Christmas and I've done some a Christmas hat and I've done a angel with tomato cages and those are some previous videos that you have already seen if you haven't go ahead and check those out I'll put the links down below in the in my description box but someone suggested why not make a mini little angel so well I couldn't find a mini little tomato cage but I did find something and now let me tell you my supplies are mostly from the Dollar Tree they really should be completely from the Dollar Tree but I had some little bits and pieces left over uh, some from the Dollar Tree some from another store that I wanted to use to create this but you can find all the supplies at the Dollar Tree this is going to be very cost effective you can get the kids to help you with this I'm going to be making a mini angel and a mini Santa so let's get to crafting. I've got a ton of supplies on here that I need to show you. All right, so let me start off with the first item I'm going to, I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using these two little Christmas trees that I found at the Dollar Tree. They have these uh, chenille type little garland wrapped around and it is a plastic form underneath. I'm actually going to be removing that from both. You do not have to remove them. You can leave them right on there. I'm going to be using this a little Santa ornament. It's a little, a little head, and I'm going to be using that for my Santa. Now, uh, if you don't find Santas, they do have styrofoam balls at the Dollar Tree. I got this from a different store. I just happen to have it already, so I'm going to use that. I'm going to use this one for my angel, but you can also use it for the Santa if you don't find this ornament. And if you do find another ornament head that can be used for the angel, go right ahead. You can maybe a little elf or even turn it into a snowman. Okay, from the Dollar Tree, I've got this assortment of mesh. Some of these I think are not from the Dollar Tree, like this burlap one. This is from Hobby Lobby. This is probably from somewhere else. It's, it's, it's actually, this one down here at the bottom is from somewhere else. But the rest of these are from Dollar Tree, and I've been collecting them. Some of them are already used. Like I said, I'm using some supplies that I had already used before. I've got ribbon from the Dollar Tree right here. This is not from their Christmas. This is from their Christmas. And then I've got these two little ones here just to show you that they do have an assortment of ribbons at the Dollar Tree. I got these ribbons at Hobby Lobby. I think uh, this one as well. So I'll just be using whatever I can. Here's another little uh, ribbon from the Dollar Tree just to give you another idea. They do have others to choose from that are a little more elegant, not just burlappy looking. Okay, I'm going to need some chenille stems. So I've got those ready. And I grabbed some feathers. You don't have to use any feathers. I'm not sure if they have feathers at the Dollar Tree or not. Uh, these were only a dollar from a craft store. Uh, you don't have to use feathers. We can uh, just use mesh to create the wings. I have a, some scraps of mesh from uh, another roll from another store that I think I'm going to use that. And anyway, but I could use any of that. I'm going to use some lights. So I've got two packages of 20 count lights. I believe they do have lights like this at the Dollar Tree. I'm not exactly sure. I did get these from the Dollar General and I got two packs of that. I did find these LED ones from the Dollar Tree. These are 10 lights each. This one's got some little candy canes on. This one's got some Santas 
And this one's got some little Christmas tree. I will be pulling these out so you can see them better. There goes that little ball. I have this little garland. It's like a little ivy or holly. I'm not really sure what it is. And I don't even remember where I purchased it from. Uh, nope, it doesn't say in the back. But anyway, it was only three bucks. And I grabbed this. Uh, it may have been from Joanne's or at home store. But I happen to have that garland, but uh, the Dollar Tree does have garland. Now I'm just gonna use a little scrap. So you just need, just need a little scrap of that. I've got some twine, some pieces of some twig. I've got some little ornament balls. And then I've got this little bucket full of other little things like some snowflakes, some little Christmas lights that you get from the little mini collection at the Hobby Lobby. And just more snowflakes here and there. And we'll pull these out if we have to, just to show you what you could put on your little angel or your little Santa. I also have this garland with some icicles on. I got this from a store called At Home. Uh, anything like this or little beads, if you want to put them on your uh, decorations or your little projects, you can do that. Just pull out whatever little bits you have and uh, let's get to crafting. All right, one of the first things that I did was put batteries inside of my LED lights to make sure that they work and they do. Let me turn one on so that you can see that. And let's turn the other one on. And they're actually a long uh, string. They're not uh, bundled up like this. I just left them like that for now. And then I'll just uh, stretch them out when I need them. Put those aside. I've gone ahead and I plugged these. They actually do work, so they're fine. And then the next thing I did is take my little trees and I've removed uh, the chenille from this red one already. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and save this. This is pretty good uh, for doing some kid crafts. So I'm gonna save that. And then I'm gonna uh, go ahead and do the same to this one. Just find the end here, kind of pull on it, and then you'll find it. And it's right here. It's just tied around a few times. There we go. Just tear it off and start pulling. And then the rest of it just comes right off. Just like that. And then at the end, you'll have to do the same thing. It's kind of tear off whatever didn't want to come off. Like I said, you don't have to take this off. I'm actually going to save uh, this one also because I'm going to use it for the halo on my angel. So I'm going to put that over to the side. Now these are ready. The next thing I want to do is I want to prep my little heads. So I'm going to take my little styrofoam ball and I'm going to take my Santa head that I found. My little ball keeps rolling away so I'm going to put that right there. I'm going to take a little piece of styrofoam because I'm looking at the bottom of my Santa and he's just, let me put that over there. It's just a hard plastic. So I'm gonna take a little piece of styrofoam and just uh, cut a smaller piece actually. And then I'll trim it if, if I need to. I'm gonna glue it to the bottom here because I'm not sure yet how I'm going to attach this head, but just to be prepared, I'm gonna add a piece of styrofoam there. And there, he's ready. Put him to the side. Now I'm gonna take the head and I'm going to take some white mesh and I'm just going to cut enough to that will fit around it so I'm going to cut one let's get another one two okay so now I've got this mesh here and I'm just going to bring it up around like that and see that'll just cover the styrofoam ball you don't really see it because it is a white ball. And to get it all together here, I can just use some chenille stem. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim off this bigger pieces off. When I did my larger angel, I used some floral pins to push down into the styrofoam and get that in there. I could do the same with this, but I'm just going to use my high glue gun. Let me bring it over. Here we go. and then just push the mesh down onto it. And then we'll cover all that up once we get it on our, on the body of the our angel, which is the little plastic form. Let's roll it around against this. Okay, so we're just gonna hold it there until it is dry. You could use a some uh, paper clips, open them up, and then just turn them into little little V prongs and use that to insert in there. You have to trim them with your wire cutters, do that. Okay, so now I've got a little bit of exposed styrofoam and I want that, okay? Just putting a little bit more glue there just to make sure all this is down. 
and then I'm gonna let, put that over to the side and let that dry and we'll be back. All right, I did fail to mention that I'll be using scissors, wire cutters, my glue gun, and some glue stick. And I'm actually going to be using a little bit of my own makeup. I'm going to be using some powder that has a little bit of color to it. Here's my angel head, and I want to just give it a little bit of color to the face part. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this powder. Actually, I'm going to take my Sharpie because I'm going to use that as well. And I'm going to make just two little like half moon eyes. They're not even going to be little circles, just as if my angel has her eyes closed. And just draw that on there. And I'm just kind of pushing down my Sharpie until I've marked that. There we go. Just some little eyes, just like that. I'm going to use some of this powder that I picked up with a big brush and I'm just going to do where the face is just a little bit like that. You don't have to do this. I'm just going to give her a little bit of color to her little face. Okay, I can put this away now. If you have a red Sharpie, you can do a little mouth. I'm just going to do one with my my black Sharpie, just a little, just a little dot like that for her little mouth. And then I'm going to take another small brush here and get some old blush a little bit of that as well and just give her some little little cheekies just like that give her a little face like that simple all right now we can put her little head aside because we're not going to use it right now now we're going to take our two cones and the Santa, well, that would obviously be in red because a lot of us want to do traditional Santa. So we can do it in red mesh, which uh, I have some down here. I put it away because I'm not going to be using red, but I want to just show you that you can use a red mesh to your Santa. I'm going to be using a burlap color and these natural kind of a creamy color to do my Santa. And I'm going to be using white to do my angel. And I'm going to be using a little bit of the cream if I have any left over also on my angel. And then I have this other one that had like little bits of snowy bits. It's a little bit of a stiffer mesh because of that. I'm actually going to use that to create the wings for my angel. But we'll show when we get to that. If not, you can use feathers. So this is what I'm going to do. Let's open up our mesh. This is from the Dollar Tree, the brand that they carry in the regular floral department. All right, I'm going to start off with some chenille stems and I'm going to take my chenille stems and actually cut them into three pieces so that I have these smaller bits. You can actually cut it into four pieces and have an even smaller bit, okay? All right, so now I'm going to take a chenille stem, a little one, get my end, make sure the whole end is being grabbed like that. I can just trim off any little strings. Wrap chenille right around it. Get the bottom here. Right there. And tie it up. Okay. Just tie it up good and fold the little chenilles in there. And get that in there. Actually before I even put this I want to put some lights. So let's get our lights, our string of lights. Here's the plug end. Our first light begins way over here. So let's go ahead and use that same little chenille stem that we started off with. Why not? And we're going to tie that. First light. Let me put that on the inside here. And tie it. Actually, let me get another chenille stem. It's not wanting to do what I want it to do. Let's put it on the outside here. Okay, there we go. Just tie that bit down. Push all these ends inside. Use white chenille stems, obviously. I don't have any, that's why I'm just using my gold. And I'm just gonna bring it around, all the way around the bottom, and ever so often, grab another chenille stem, wrap it around, but make sure those little ends, you push them inward and upward, into your little cone. You don't want them sticking out of the bottom because when you put them on a table, they might scratch your table. So just do this all the way around. 
till I get to the other end and then I'm going to tie it there and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring them upward all the way up to the top so that the very last light is somewhere right here where the neck of our little angel is going to be. So I'm going to go ahead and go and I'm going to add on all those lights and I'm going to do the same thing with the mesh. I'm going to make like a loop like that about, that's about eight inches, tie it down, make another loop. Let me go ahead and do that one so that you can see what I'm doing. But I want to get the lights on there first. Now when I bring this around, I'm going to make another loop right here. When I bring this around, um, I'm not going to spread it out like the lights. I want to get as much of this mesh around this whole thing so that it's covering and loops like this. So let me go ahead and put the lights on and I'll be back so we can do the mesh and you can see that part. Okay. All right, I've gone ahead and I've twirled all the lights. I didn't even have to tie them down because these little prongs here, the plastic here has these little prongs right on the edges here and they kind of help to keep the lights from sliding up and down. All I did was twirl them around and just adjusted them and then just kind of put them into there and then at the top is where I just tied it just to make sure that it doesn't come off. So they've been tied at the bottom at the first light, brought around and then tied at the top. And now I'm going ahead and put my chenille stem just like I said at the beginning how I started it. Make a little loop and then bring it in and then I'm going to tie it down and I'm going to get another chenille stem, twirl it around that and then I'm going to tie it on the plastic here that's kind of coming upward. And now that I've met the ends together, I'm gonna to continue making those loops, but I'm gonna be going on, on top of what I've already created. So now I'm gonna use these, these right here, they're going up and down to tie onto because I obviously don't have enough rings here in the middle to do all the looping. So I'm gonna tie them onto these bits here. And I may need two rolls of mesh for this particular project. So just get yourself prepared to use two rolls. Okay, so I'm going to work this all the way around till I get to the very top. And I'll be back once I have finished all that. Okay, I have finished putting the mesh on both of my little tree forms which are now going to be the body of an angel and the body of a Santa and we're going to cover all this up this is the back where the wire is coming out so obviously this is going to be the front I'm going to put the heads on them so then I can know where I want the decorations to be and where I want there to be like little arms on them and I'm going to put a cape on Santa with a burlap and we're going to finish off the angel with some wings and some decorations here in the front with some ribbon okay so we've got our little angel head right here and as you recall I left a little area here on the styrofoam ball which I did not cover with any mesh. I'm going to use this the tip of this the plastic form here to insert the little head in but first I'm going to put some a glue on it. Okay right in here and just push it down as much as I can. So there we go it's got a little head and if you recall, on the Santa hat head, I put a piece of styrofoam down here at the bottom. So we're going to put some glue right here at the tip. Get that beard out of the way. And now we're going to go ahead and insert it right into there as far as that little piece of styrofoam can take. And there we go, there's our little Santa head right on the form. And now you can see where it's starting to look like a Santa and a little angel. Of course, we want to put a halo and all kinds of other things on our angel. Okay, so let's go ahead and work those wings. And I've got this mesh that has this little bit of snowy kind of a look to it, a little dimension to it. I'm going to put the two flatter, if you touch it, you feel one side is smooth and the other side you can feel a little texture. So I'm going to put the two smooth sides back to back. Let me move Santa out of the way. I'm going to put them back to back. Grab them from the middle. Just like that. 
a little chenille stem. And remember, I said that if on the angel, if you go ahead and get yourself some white chenille stems to match, I don't mind the gold showing because I am going to be using gold on the little angel. Now, you could go digging in through here somewhere in the back and find it where there's a wire to tie this on. Uh, but you could also just hot glue it in there. Let me see. I want it about that high in the back. So let's see if I can go ahead and do that. I'm going to open it up just a little bit. There's actually a little spot here where I can wire it onto. And get it in there. Push that chenille stem inside so it doesn't show. And now I've got some wings on the back of our angel right there. Okay. We're going to decorate him, her, now. <laughs> Let's get that out of the way. I like this garland that has these uh, icicles on it. I'm going to put some, I think going like that, and then another one a little bit lower all the way around. So let me go ahead and get started way up here. Let me get these. Over here. I'm going to put this like way up here, but I'm going to put some glue on it and then just push it in there. That little icicle there. Push it in. Without pulling on it so that uh, it sticks down over here. I'm going to measure and see how much I need. I don't think that's good enough. I'm going to cut it right where there's a little icicle so that I can grab that icicle to push into the glue right there make those little icicles facing down I think I'm just going to use one now we want to do what's going to be the sleeves so I'm going to take another piece of mesh it's not exactly the same as the one that I use for the body but I'm going to take about let's see six inches I'm going to cut two pieces and six inches and then I'm going to take these two pieces see how they're like that I'm going to grab the opposite corners and just kind of pull so that it kind of curls in like that do the same with the other side and then I'm going to take some chenille you grab these Grab the end, wrap the chenille tight around it, bring it over, and then reach in there and on some wire or on the lights actually, I'm going to tie it up, what would be up as high as I can, kind of like the shoulder part of the angel, and tie that in there. And push the end into the form. Here's the little arm. Roll it into itself. That's the little sleeve right there. I'm just going to hold it right there for now. I'm going to do the same on the other side. A little chenille. Wrap it tight around both the ends. Okay, and there we go. These are the little arms on the angel. Can you see that? Okay, so now we want to decorate it. We're going to take some of this colored uh, off-white chenille, push this over to the side, and I'm going to cut six-inch pieces as well. Let me get my rotary cutter since I have my rotary mat here, my little cutting mat. And trim off the end. Let's get that over there. 
I'm not going to use this on the Santa anymore, so I'm going to use whatever I have on my angel. Three. Let me get one more. Four. Okay. I'm going to take these and roll it up. Put a little chenille stem like that. And then I'm just going to roll the little chenille into itself. Put some glue right there. I'm going to put this one right under the little head. Just right under there. Two little curlies. Let them pop open like that. I'm going to do two more here. The same thing. On the side here, push it underneath. Let's put our glue gun on here. One more. And do it on the other side. There. Actually, I think the wings cover up back here, so I don't think anyone in the back. Okay, so I'm going to use three of those, and I'll save this other one and this other piece for something else here. Let's see. Gorgeous. Actually, yes, I'm going to curl these up. Let me cut these in half. They're too big. I just need tiny little pieces of chenille. Let me see if I can get one more. One more six inch square. Yep, right on that fold. And then I can go ahead and get rid of that little staple that was on there. Okay, I'm going to roll it in. Like that. A little tiny piece of chenille. And I'm going to put these right where the little hands are. I'm going to glue this little hands back on against the body, push it in, and I'll put some glue on these, push that in, I think it looks really pretty like that. Put another one right underneath it. Make a nice full area there. Okay. Now, for the halo, I'll take a piece of chenille. I think this was about, let's add two pieces because I don't want to grab another one and cut it. These two little pieces that are left over, I'm just going to roll them up together to make one longer piece. And I'm going to take this curly bit here, and I'm just going to wrap it around the chenille. like that, trim it off, bring the two chenille ends together, twist them, and then twist it onto itself to create a halo. Now I can put some glue on her head around the top part, and this is where I twisted it, I wanted that to be to the back. And just place it on her cute little head there. Okay, we're not done with her. We're going to put her over to the side. We're going to work on Santa now. And now I'm going to cut out again. Let me cut this out straight. Cut out two six-inch pieces. One. Two. I'm running out of chenille stems. I need to grab some from my box, but I'm going to use these little bits here. Okay, I'm going to pull them again and then grab the end, twist these. I'm going to do the same little little arms like I did on the angel. Uh, I need to go and grab some uh, more chenille stems and I shall be back. Okay, for Santa I've done his little arms, but I'm not going to bring them together yet because I want to put some chenille, the same uh, burlapy looking chenille 
down the front here and down the front here before I bring the arms down and then I'm going to add some to the back as well creating his Santa cape or his Santa coat. So I'm going to get this end of the the mesh and put a little little bit of a chenille stem there. I'm going to reach under there just like I did with the little arms and tie it down. Twist those little tiny little pieces of chenille stem. There we go. And then I'm going to bring it down kind of in a bit of a loop right here, right about right here. Tie that down right there so I need to get a chenille stem. Get it on there. Reach in there. There's a piece of wire there from the lights and I'm going to wrap it around. There we go. I'm going to make another loop right here. Tie it around. And then this one's going to get tied down to the very bottom here where there's a light right here. Get it on there. Okay, here I'm going to trim it. And then that little end, just tuck it in there. So that's the front part of his coat coming down, so his arms will come around it like that. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing on this side, and then I'm going to come back here, put one in the middle, and then two on each side so that it looks like there's a cape on him with his burlap one here. Okay, so I'll be back. Okay, for Santa, I'm doing the same thing where I've created three of these little curlies, but instead of tucking them under his head in the, in the front, I've been tucking them at the back. So I've already tucked one in the middle and then one off to the side, so I need one on this other side now. And this is sort of the, the uh, collar, what would be the collar of his coat. And also just to kind of fill in back here so it doesn't look so empty. Okay, so just tuck that one in there. And it glues right onto that styrofoam piece that I put under there. And now you can just fix this little hair around it. I fix his little beard. I've tied his little hands together, glued them right there. And then you can see that there's this coat. It's kind of not very noticeable uh, on camera, but you can see that his whole body was this ivory. But now I've done this looped going downward for his coat. And it is coming in front of his little sleeves. So the front right here of his coat and then his, his little arms are coming out from behind his first two rows. And then of course, I tie them together. And now we want Santa to be holding something in his hands. And I'm going to put a little piece of this. I'm trying to use just Dollar Tree items. I'm gonna put a little piece of garland. So I'm gonna cut, let's see, that was about four inches that I cut. I'm going to fold it in half a bit and then right at where I folded it, it doesn't have to be exactly in half. I'm going to put some glue, push this down right here where his little hands are and then I'm going to push it back so that it kind of sticks to the mesh behind it as well and just hold it for a little bit. There we go. A little piece of garland there and I had a little twig here that was left over from another project and I want to go ahead and put it on there I want it to look like he's holding a staff like a little twig staff in his hands put a little bit of glue on it kind of crooked I don't want to put it straight up and down kind of crooked on there I got a little jingle bell, a little rustic jingle bell. This is from a package that I got at Hobby Lobby. But you can find them pretty much like at Walmart, even at Michael's. They don't have bells like this at, at the Dollar Tree, but they do have you know, little red jingle bells, silver, and I think they have green as well. And I'm going to put that on a rope. Oh, here's my twine right here. I'm going to use this twine. This twine is from the Dollar Tree. I uh, usually find these like where the hardware items are. I already had one open, so I already had the end, and this one I don't have the end, so I'm just going to pull a piece, cut it right there. I'm going to string my little bell on it, just like that. 
knot it at the ends. Just pull it tight, put some glue on it, and then lay Santa down. And then I'm going to put that right there. And I'm going to lay him down so this uh, dries and it, the, the weight of the belt doesn't pull it off. I've got a little fan going. You might be hearing that noise. And uh, so anyway, that's what that is. Okay, I'm going to get some ribbon. And I like this ribbon right here that's got some little flakes and it's got that burlap look to it. I'm just going to make a simple little bow. that a little piece of a chenille stem to tie that up and then just roll the ends create a base Let me bring those little tails downward a little bow upward there we go just put a little bit of glue right there stick that right there to have cover all of those pieces that I just glued together then we can poof up our bow. And just keep it like that so it dries on there. I'm gonna get some little berries. I think I just cut my finger, yes I did. Okay, let me go ahead and take care of that and I shall be back. Okay, here's our Santa so far and I've cut up some little berries and somehow I managed to cut my finger as well. <laughs> Trying to hurry up. All right, so now I'm going to put some glue on these little berries and glue them onto this little bow area here. Right in front there. Just like that, a little touch. And then I have these battery operated lights and I'm going to take the part that has the little package and I'm going to tuck it in underneath here but I want this pointing down so that I can see it and I'm going to take a chenille stem wrap it around let me cut it in half wrap it inside there onto one of the plastic parts oh there's I still have some blood right there okay anyway it's should it's dried up so let's not worry about it right here where the uh, plastic is. I'm going to tie the chenille stem around it right there to hold on to that packet. And remember, I want the little switch facing downward so that I can quickly access it to turn the lights on and off. Okay. Let me get it on a little bit tighter. It's not tight enough. I don't want to glue it down because I might want to remove the little lights in case they go bad or I have to change the, the battery. Okay, so these little lights, they have little Santas on them, they're so cute. I'm just gonna bring it around. Santa, like so. And just make sure these little Santa heads are facing upward, like that. Good thing they're on wire, so that can easily be done. I'm going to grab this little light and kind of twirl it around the, the stick that he has here so he stays still. Or so that little head stays still, I should say. Okay, bring it up over here. So it's coming up from the bottom, going around like that, around the top and up to the front, and then right there. So all I have to do is turn those little lights on, and then I can turn the ones that I can just plug in. But it'll be shining in from the inside, but I'll do that at the end. I think my Santa looks really nice and complete right there. So let's finish up with our angel. <clears throat> I have this ribbon that's got this little bit of fuzzy on the edge. I'm going to cut about six inch pieces and I'm going to use my rotary cutter. Because now I'm afraid of my scissors. <laughs> okay, no, it's just easier to do it this way. Let's see. Let me see how many I can get before I decide that that's enough. Okay, so I've cut six pieces of this ribbon and I cut six inch pieces like I said. And what I've been doing is that I've just been putting a little chenille stem on them and forming these like, almost like a little bow here. 
and then just putting a glue, a glue, some glue right in there. And I've been tucking these little pieces right where I can see like a lot of the chenille, the gold chenille. So what I just I poof these bits here first to hide some of them, and then the ones that I couldn't hide, I'm tucking in ribbon in there to hide that. I just need a tiny piece of chenille. And I went ahead and I cleaned my hands. So those of you who don't like to see blood, you don't have to see that. Okay. All right. Let's put some glue there. And I want another one right about right here. Okay. And then just fix your ribbon so that it looks pretty. There. So just little tucks of ribbon here and there to hide any chenille. I'm not worrying about it too much in the very front here because, I, well, this is the back actually. Well, no, that's the side. Hello, this is the front. <laughs> not worry too much about the front if there's some things showing because I did put this on there and then I'm gonna cover that up. Okay, so for this one, I'm gonna go ahead and use the same Dollar Tree garland and I'm just gonna cut a piece off of that. Uh, I was thinking about using this other garland, but like I said, I'm trying to use as much as I can just Dollar Tree because I have used uh, a mesh that is not from the Dollar Tree for my Santa and of course the little twig, which you can find outside, um, but some of this ribbon isn't, but of course you can find all of that at the Dollar Tree. It's just what I said. I'm just trying to use what I have here in my home, and this one I'm just going to put this uh, <clears throat> piece of pine going straight down. I'm just trying to use up pieces that I have here in my home. Uh, little bits here and there. Maybe you have some things like that in your home. I want her to be holding like a long a garland of or a swag of, of pine. So I'm going to cut another one and I'm going to fold this one in half because I want it to be fuller up in the top and then just kind of get thin and I'm going to fold it in half like I did the one for Santa. Put some glue on it, put it right in there. Okay, right up here where her bow is, where her little neck is, I put this little curly bit and I can see the gold, um, the gold chenille. So I'm gonna put a little bow, just like I did for Santa. But hers is gonna go under her neck. And then I'll use a little bit of this ribbon at the bottom as well. And then just cut the little edges at an angle on this one. I wasn't doing any cutting on the edges. I just let them straight on these little bits that I stuck in, tuck in. Because uh, if I cut anything to them, then it'll just they'll just look shorter. Okay, some glue on there. And tuck it right in there. Push it. There we go. Right in there. Okay, so I'm going to take another piece of that same ribbon. Just cut a, a length of it. Not very much. This is about 13 inches or so. You could do 12 inches. Just fold it in half. I'm going to take another piece of chenille stem and I need little bits of chenille stem. I don't need big pieces. Oh, that one just dropped. Let me cut another one. I don't want to bend over. Okay, another piece. There we go. <clears throat> These are leftover pieces of ribbon from some of the projects. They're not from the Dollar Tree, but they're just leftovers. Okay, this one I'm going to put it right on her swag. I'm going to put it right underneath that bit right here. I'm going to tuck it right underneath so it kind of goes downward along the length of that pine piece or garland piece that I put there. Can you see that? Okay, so now I can take these little flowers and I think I'm just going to do one. One flower. Pull it off the, uh, the little stem. Lots of glue on it. Tuck it right in there. And then I've got these little bells. I got a package of these bells from the Dollar Tree. It actually had two pairs in one packet. So I was able to do four, which I used in a centerpiece thing. And I took them off because I wasn't going to use the centerpiece. I only did it for the purpose of the video. So I'm going to use these little bells 
why I put some little berries in there, which would be what I've now learned is called the clapper of the bell. So you can see it's got some garland where I pulled it off. So that same spot, I'm gonna put some glue, tuck it in there. Glue here as well. Tuck it in on the other side. It'll just glue onto the mesh, those little curlies that I made on it, that I, the little extra curlies that I added here where the little arms would be. Okay, there we go. She's so pretty. I'm gonna take a little cluster of berries. Try not to cut my fingers. I'm actually gonna put it up at the top on her little halo right up here. Okay, and there she is. Now I wanna put some lights on her. Now I could just use just regular little lights on the outside of her like I did. Uh, you know, like I put on Santa, I'm gonna put them on the same. But I'm, what I'm saying is I could use some, just some plain lights that don't have anything. These have some little, little Christmas trees on her and because she does have that green from the garland, that'll add some color. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this string of lights on her just like I did on Santa. Clean up and I shall be back. And there we go. My angel is complete and so is my Santa Claus. These have been what I'm going to call mini deco mesh angel and a mini deco mesh Santa Claus. And as you saw, everything that was used pretty much is from the Dollar Tree. You can just use everything from the Dollar Tree. I went ahead and I did a little extra savings by using some leftover that I had. Now, these will make a great gift for anybody. Take it to somebody in the hospital, take it to your grandma, someone in a nursing home, to your kid's teacher, uh, to your best friend, just to cheer them up. I think they're wonderful. Uh, let me know in the comments down below, which one would you prefer? Would you prefer the angel, the Santa Claus, or both? I'm going to be honest, and I'm going to tell you that I am leaning towards Santa. I adore him. I think his colors are going to be perfect for my farmhouse theme. As much as I love angels, because I love all wing things, and I happen to have an angel collection, I am going to choose my Santa. All right, there we go. I'm going to give myself a big old thumbs up. Make sure you leave me a big old thumbs up as well. I want to thank all of you who have subscribed to my channel. I am overwhelmed by the amount of subscribers that I have now. Thank you so much from the very bottom of my heart. I love you very much. I hope you enjoyed this. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and make sure you share on your social medias. Hit that notification bell and as always, enjoy.